In the Minecraft PvP community, it is pretty normal to modify your game in order to make it look better and give you some more information. Instead of going with the original look of Minecraft, texture packs are being used in addition to that with the help of so-called PvP clients, information like ping, CPS, frame rate, and much more is getting displayed on the average PvPers screen. I myself use a small variety of texture packs when I just recently swapped from Bad Lion Client to Lunar Client because the hit registration on Lunar is just godly. But for today's video, I am going back to the beginnings. I am going to play Minecraft without texture pack or client, testing both Sky Voice and Bad Voice in order to see if you actually need these modifications to succeed in multiplayer based Minecraft. So here we are in the Sky Wars lobby on my alt account. We're gonna be starting this off with some Sky Wars, and after that, I'm gonna try some Bad Wars. Okay, here we are in game, not gonna lie. This feels pretty weird. Also, I just realized what? Don't even have a kit? <laughs> this is a double challenge. Not playing with a kit and uh, default. Also, I feel like my frame rate is really bad, but I can just not check it because, you know, <laughs> uh, default challenge makes it uh, kind of hard to check your frame rate, you know? Okay, I do not. This man could be hacking. That's not a good sign. Because uh, I'm playing a really low elo, so no one should be able to to god bridge. Okay, but I got him. Oh my goodness, PvP feels so weird. <laughs> it's not even funny how weird PvP feels. Oh, also I do not have any perks. Dude, this is a triple challenge. I do not have healing or uh, strength or any perk. I do not have kits. And um, yeah, dude, <laughs> this is a hard challenge. I mean, why did I have to use my alt account? I could have just played on my main account. Anyway, so gone. <laughs> I already got like three kills. That's pretty cool. Yeah, three kills and three people are still left. I feel like that one guy is about to die. Also, why did I just have a weird accent there? I don't know. I usually do not have an English accent. I mean, I have a German accent, but not like that kind of accent, you know? Okay, we got pills. We should win this game now. We, I, th I think I have better equipment than this, man. Okay, and he gone. <laughs> okay. Well, that was not too hard. <laughs> now we're in the Bellwoods lobby. Let's see how that is gonna go. I'm assuming it's gonna go just as well. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a challenge, but here there are no kits or perks that I don't have because I'm on my own or anything like that, so I'm just assuming this to be pretty easy. I also do not have a rank on this alt account, so I can choose maps, but we got really, really lucky and I queued a Bell Wars. Uh, yeah, of course I queued a Bell Wars game, but I got really, really lucky and I queued a... <laughs> I queued Lighthouse, the map Lighthouse. <laughs> of course I queued a Bear Wars game. By the way, I'm trying to work on my video quality and I feel like I could do a little better with just uploading twice a week but having like higher quality videos. So I hope that you can give me some support for that. Also, I'm gonna get that final because of that new Bear Wars update. Oh, this feels good. <laughs> Okay, otherwise I would have waited for him to, to die and then get his bed, because, you know, I wanted to have the final, but who cares? First of all, I'm on my old, I don't care about finals on my old, and second of all, that Bear Wars update is gonna give me the final anyways, yes! I don't know if you can realize it by my voice, but um, I just woke up also. How big is that crosshair? Oh my goodness, that crosshair is weirdly big. I gotta... what? Speed switching is so hard with this. Holy, why why is it hard to speed switch with a bigger crosshair? That's weird. Okay, we found a downside of not using a client. Because with clients you can change like your crosshair. And this is just way too big, oh my goodness. Also, textures are looking so ugly. <laughs> Let's get this man sped. He built like a really weird defense. I've rarely ever seen this in my life. It looks like like one of these fancy hats. That's really weird. Also, he suicided, so I'm gonna get the final. And also, my shop is not set up, so that's pretty default too. Of course, I did it on purpose, and it's not because on my old I don't set up my shop because I'm too lazy to synchronize it with my actual shop. Could 
Ah, I can't really deal with that crosshair. So yeah, the crosshair seems to be a really big component, because usually I would have been able to just clutch on the side of the bridge. But this crosshair is so big, I can't really do that. Also, I feel like I gotta go for green really, really soon, because he has been trying to go mid, and I don't want him to get M's. Also, pink just randomly forgot about me. Um, sorry, dude. Why would you forget about me? Look at my skin, I'm beautiful. How could you ever forget about me? Okay, let's get this man's bed. And now, whoop. Whoop. What? How did he get a combo? What the heck? He just randomly got a combo. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna void, but we're gonna bridge to mid to hopefully get green, because I really don't want green to get any crazy ammo equipment. That would be pretty cringe. Also, one thing that I realized, but I also realized that about Lunar Client is the normal speed bridging animation. I didn't even know that crouching animation was like default. I just realized on Lunar you have like a really weird crouching animation which like actually does this. It actually changes your screen because on Badline that's not the case. On Badline you can sneak and nothing really happens with your field of view. And I thought that was because of Lunar. Lunar freaked something up or something, I don't know. He bought diamond armor, thank you. Uh, but actually, I just realized playing default that this probably has something to do with default. Because in default Minecraft, this is like this too. Like, boop, 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 boop. If you play Bad Lion, or if you have played Bad Lion in the past, then you probably know what I mean. Okay, let's take out white. He didn't even cover his bed, which, which means A, he doesn't know what he's doing, or B, he is an actual threat. And just uh, judging by his bridging, um, I think we can all agree on him being pretty non brain Sally. Also, yes, that is officially a new word now. I've been talking with the dictionary and people that say what words you're able to use and whatnot. So, um, also, that that's just a joke. Of course, that's just a joke. Who you think I am? I'm just a YouTuber. Okay, um, do I have to void? Nope. Don't feel like I have to void. I can just go over there. Ah, yeah, I see him. Of course, he's going mid. That was my plan. Now I can go in on him. Should have utilized the potion I got from that one guy. I don't even know what potion that is. Uh, anyways, you don't know what you're doing. Aha, uh -huh. he does know what he's doing. That's why he didn't cover his bad defense. He's just not exceptionally good. I'm not exceptionally good too, because PvP is so bad on default, but it works. GG's. <laughs> Wait, this is what blocking looks like in default? What the heck? <laughs> so as we just saw, you don't necessarily need a PvP client or a texture pack to be good at Minecraft. I just personally prefer modifying the look of my game with a texture pack to make it feel more dynamic and clean. The PvP client can improve your hit registration, which is pretty essential, and also display pretty important information. With the module in my client that tells me my clicks per second, for example, I wouldn't be able to tell if my mouse stopped registering half my clicks, I would wonder what's going on here and not get the problem. That is just one of several important aspects of a PvP client. After all, whether or not you use a texture pack or a PvP client depends on personal preference. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you on Thursday with the first episode of my new survival project and goodbye!